Credible sources. Yeah. I won't say who. The police. I would imagine it would be the police. Let me see. I won't say who. Probably the detective you're working with, if I had to guess. Um, I can't see these documents. We didn't even do the Alyssa clip stuff. I think I'll save that for tomorrow. She was involved in some real dirt. I talked about it a little bit on Twitter, but... Uh, but I was told by very credible sources a long time ago, I've been sitting on this for a while, ooh. that April was going to be charged. Yeah. So every time, you know... Very credible source. The police you're working with. Oh, that's why, like, when Keanu, when those two turned, I'm like, you guys are fucking retarded. Like, This guy's the biggest snitch of all time, like... Directly working with the fit and bragging about it too, like man, you know this used to be something motherfuckers were like ashamed to do, like or they had to do it, you know, to save their life or whatever. Uh, and now niggas think it's cool to like brag about snitching, like it's not. You're a faggot. Uh, sorry, you'll always be a faggot if you're a snitch. I mean, them's the rules. And if unless you're snitching on like, you know, child molesters or whatever or something like that, I give a pass for that. There's some niggas on the street that just don't talk to the police no matter what. But, you know, I give a pass on shit like that. But, like, if you're working with the police and you're snitching out your ex-wife and, um, you know, you knew that was coming, LOL, um, you're a fucking rat bastard. I mean, there's just no other way around it. Um, you know, I can sit here and take all the pills and drink I want, uh, and I'll still be more of a man than you because I'm not a snitch faggot like you. So... By the way, all my shit's legal. But, uh, <laughs> Mexico. Uh, but, um, <laughs> I'm not indulging, by the way, I want to be clear. I was a couple days ago, but, um, you know, you kind of got to ease off for about a week. Luckily, I didn't fall in too deep. If you get on that shit for like a month or two, you have to like be really slow with how you get off of it, but, um, Probably about a quarter quarter piece a day uh, for a week, and then I won't have to take any more. Uh, but you can actually die, so it's kind of it's kind of something you have to be serious about. Go ahead. Austin a bear sent five dollars. Fuck a snitch. Fuck a snitch, man. It's that simple. Like I don't know what people in chat think, but what a snitch faggot. I'm sorry, like I just can't, dude. Where I'm from, like this is like. I mean, I don't want to get too more graphic than that, but like. Oh, with 20 bucks says if this goes to trial, you're going to have to testify by both or one side or the other. Are you prepared for that? I ask because that is going to be hard as hell. Uh, j uh, it it's um, do you remember the young guy in Shawshank that found out that knew that Andy didn't do it? Uh, I, I will quote him when I say, just give me that chance. Yeah. Place my hand. That's all on I the, needed to. That's all I needed to know. Here, ready? I'm gonna, the back of his head out. Here, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and practice this motion because I figure I'll need it. Um, <laughs> what a fucking up, fag! Right hand in the air. Uh, I do. There we go. Okay, so that's my. That's my tweet on it. Who the fuck? You know. I got some women that I got some issues with, and they have no... <clears throat> I'm sure some of them, let's just put it that way, would have no problem snitching on me, but on something so serious, like, this is just insane. Uh, he obviously knew about it ahead of time. Also hit, like, um... They all dance to our tune. I think it breaks any laws or rules, but it seems quite shady. Would she be able to receive notifications of deliveries to that P.O. box and retrieve them herself, or is she now entirely dependent on Nick for that? Well, I know Nick would, I know Nick would like to have her dependent on him for that. Uh -huh. I'm guessing she spends so little time in the neighboring house where she supposedly lives, this person writes, that she wouldn't notice if important mail had been delivered there. <laughs> yeah, I think they're probably all staying in that house. How the fuck would uh, you know? Scarface with 499 says, I ask you one question about Gino sending nudes and you take my wrench. That's not why I took away your wrench, buddy. Uh, you, and, you can message me personally if you want to, but somebody said that you were in somebody else's chat saying you were going to use your mod wrench to fuck with the show. I love you. I do, but I want you to talk to me first. Uh, they said you and Michael B 
we're planning on doing some gay ops shit. So I I took the wrench away as a fucking, uh, what do you call it, a precaution? But I'm willing to hear you out. Uh, I say Gutierrez with two bucks says, just go to Perry Caravello's pool party tonight. Uh, mayor Larry Vaughn with 199. Oh, the mayor of Amity uh, uh -huh. says, Nick, if you're watching, we can't amend your reports. <laughs> Brothers Osborne recommendation, shoot me straight. Is that where the track marks came from? Nah. Uh, guys, we are 115 away from tonight's goal, so we're actually very, very close. We got a half okay. hour left in the show. 115 is the number. Well, we already uh, hit actually, our goal it's for the 83rd the damn straight with, day. Uh, five bucks. There we go. Uh, I reported Gino and Keanu for telling Johnny go K himself with a gun, pills, and alcohol. And I, I hope her YouTube gets taken down. May I come out and say this publicly? I am against yeah. anyone striking anyone's channel. Mm -hmm. I don't want anyone striking anybody's channel. I'm against it. Uh, no, that's a no for me. Uh, number one Josh Denny fan and Chad Buzamak get in touch with me. I'll unban you on YouTube. Uh, Honky says, so they had the charges in their back pocket and waited till April go on a complacency trend to unleash them. Yeah, basically they gave April a chance to do the right thing and yep. live a clean life. She fucked it up and they said, there's nothing we can do for this woman anymore. They've been more than kind. What do you mean live a clean yeah, life? If, if she would have went to her parents or, or anywhere else, really, I'm guessing they still would have had some questions to ask her. But the right. fact yeah, that she they wouldn't stay right there, oh, no, no questions. We know what's going on here. What do you mean she can't live with them? Uh, Hunky says, lesson learned by April. Cocaine doesn't turn Nick into Cochran. Oh, Aaron's next wife has a hill to climb. No, she doesn't. She's got the lowest bar to clear of anyone ever. Oh, man. Can you avoid felony charges? And we're good. Uh, number one, Josh Denny fan says, holy shit. He's just shutting them down. Say that about Johnny on her toe watch stream. I don't know. Mad Move says, would you still want to be friends with Mersh Mer if he started railing April and made her his co-host? Jesus Christ. That's, uh, I don't know who that sounds more horrific for. Uh, MSO says, I've heard Keanu say she loves Johnny several times. Okay, there's that too. Uh, Mersh railing a woman, LOL, says <laughs> Ielto. Uh, Nick makes Saul Goodman look like Alan Dershowitz, says Los Federales <laughs> with two bucks. Thank you, pal. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, what's our number? 110. All right, guys, we're 110 away from tonight's goal. Thank you very much for uh, your contributions. If you'd like to help us knock it out, all of the links are in the chat. It's been a, a breaking news show tonight. God, he knew it was coming the right? whole time, dude. This guy's like... This is a terrible way to put it. <laughs> terrible way to put it, buddy. What are you doing to me now? Uh, yeah, it's, it's really just consisted of uh, kind of speculating on the new April felony charges yep. and refreshing Kiwi Farms. Yeah. I will 100% give credit to MN Public Records for finding this because the case doesn't show up if you just search her name. The case number is required to find it. I wonder if they'll have to amend the charges to say April Anderson or because her name was Imholt at the time of the arrest. She's charged as Imholt. Because I know I requested she change her name, and I think she agreed when we signed the divorce papers. Oh, okay, she agreed, but did she actually do it? No, if they're in a divorce, they'll do it for you. Uh oh, it's part of the proceedings. Okay, that they'll do the name change with the divorce. And I, <laughs> there was a box in there. Do you request that anyone change their last name? I'm like, yes, her. <laughs> so they're She's trying to say she showed up at name. some um like tattoo festival, I guess, with the Ricadas, and they're trying to say that that's why they brought the charges back. I mean, I don't see how that's how that follows, but um. I mean, they already dropped the charges once. Uh, charges as well. Uh, I say Gutierrez with two bucks says, who's a bigger mess, Nick or Boogie? I'm going to say Nick only because Nick had a further distance to fall. Mm -hmm. Nick had the bag and he fumbled it. Like Nick had an easy life set out for him. He's already a rich kid who never had to work for anything ever in his life. <laughs> Parents catered to him his entire life. Nothing he ever did uh, worked out ever. Hmm. Even the law thing. Couldn't make it on now, his own. I can tell you why they're doing this. It has nothing to do with any tattoo festival. This guy's a moron. The reason they're doing this is because they want her to turn states against Nick. And or kill. They really want Nick, honestly. Let's be real. Uh, so they brought back the charges to to try to get her to turn states against Nick. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, that's how prosecutors work. So I don't really think, um, you know, them appearing at some tattoo festival or wherever the fuck they were. 
Um, I think it's more of Nick's not pleading out and he's fighting it and he's fighting them on every front. And it's like, okay, let's bring the charges back against her, threaten her, and then get her to try to, or try to get her to turn states against the Ricadas. Uh, and, and it'll be August 28th. So it's still a little, a little ways away, but, um, so we'll see. Um, yeah, it's called the prisoner's dilemma. Yeah. Someone on Kiwi Farms knows a little political science. Um, yeah, that's what I think. It's one new evidence implicating her original story was dishonest. I don't think that's it, though. I think it's two. Desperation on the part of the state that triggered them to need April to cooperate in sinking Nick and Kayla and or both. Yes. Uh, I, I agree with this guy, even if he's a faggot. He said, I find it hard to believe that April's public appearance with Nick would trigger the charges being reinstated. Yeah, me too. I think it's I think it's the state trying to... I mean, that's what the state does. They use the power of the state to try to get people to turn each other. So that's what I... That would be my... Of course, it'll be, this will probably be one of the top stories tomorrow. But... Um, yeah, and they filed the complaint on the 16th, so it definitely wasn't the it definitely wasn't the public appearance. Going to be interesting how they roll Aaron into this. He's either going to be a state's witness or prosecuted. Well, he's obviously going to be a state's witness. I mean, listen to how he talks. I mean, that's how a snitch talks. I mean, he does he sound like he's worried about being prosecuted? No, he does not. Uh, and that's because he's going to be a state's witness. Uh, no, I didn't see that, Evan. I didn't pay attention to that. Uh, no, they're just reinstating the old charges, as far as I can tell. Yeah, he's definitely going to be... He's definitely going to be a state's witness. Like, no doubt. Um, Joe Biden showing up does kind of knock Alex Jones's theory out of the water because it Biden's dead. Yeah. Earlier today. Okay. Let's play Alex Jones. Let's not. <laughs> you should just stick to talking about April. You idiot. <laughs> Especially just got reinstated. Yeah. Let's talk about Alex Jones. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't see anything. Mercado said about, about Jesus, but I wouldn't really care anyway. You drug addicts need to stick together, I guess. God forbid someone calls out degenerates who are doing rails in front of kids. Nah, I'm just not a snitch nigga. That's just not me. So, that's just not me. Never will be me. And uh, fuck the police. Fuck cooperating with the police. Fuck pleading guilty unless you absolutely have to. Um... And get away with everything you can, short of harming uh, children, which I don't believe Nick did, actually. So. Three. If you ask him one more fucking question about Denny's, I swear to God, I'm going to call the cops on you again. I can't read this search warrant affidavit and say they didn't have enough information to get the warrant they needed. They had more than enough. Nick gave them more than enough. April gave them more than enough. I gave them more than enough to search that house. Compared to those three. Straight snitch, like, look, man, where I'm from, this is not celebrate. This is not behavior to celebrate. So, you know, some people can be cool with snitching if they want to be, um, but like, that's not me. That's not me. That's never gonna be me. And uh, we have to go anyway. So, applause there. Uh, this broke out late in the show. You know, I I don't support snitching. Some people do. Those are called snitches. <laughs> yeah, those are called snitches. Um, so, you know, some people are cool with that. I'm not cool with that. Now, if you're molesting children, if you're, you know... It's, um, you know, not corporal punishment. I mean, like, really beating them, etc. 
Yeah, of course. Um, you know, I, I would I would make an exception there, but um uh all drugs should be legal in the first place. Uh and so that's always been my position. People who've watched this show. It's never changed and never will change. So what can you say really? Um I mean that would be dishonest of me to change my position. Like I would be a fraud. If I did, so uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> what does chat think? Chat can weigh in. Of course, we're wrapping up. I, I was, you know, I started late. I'm not going to go past 10 tonight. Tomorrow, if the fiber optic doesn't fuck up, we'll be live at 2. I imagine this will probably be one of the top stories. Um, and I'm imagining, uh, you know, what's his face is going to keep running his mouth because he can't help himself. But. I know a little something about that too, uh, to be honest. I run my mouth too much myself. But um, yeah, uh, I mean, I don't think there's any doubt that he's snitching. So, what can you say about that, really? Oh, I do have a song about that. Stop snitching. I done seen black folks tell, tell, tell. I done seen black folks tell, tell, tell. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's snitching like you know if you um, come in and your wife's getting raped or whatever and you call the police or um, you know you got shot and you call the police. So I know I was in jail with that just would not call the police under any circumstances whatsoever. And dealing with the police, while maybe not considered official snitch behavior, is just you just never talk to the police. Everything's handled on the streets. Now, those are true ghetto motherfuckers that were like, I mean, they kill people on the streets and like they handle their business on the streets, period. Um, personally, I have a different, uh, more nuanced view where like of a crime, you know, if somebody's trying to stab you. Woodrow Wagner sent two dollars on Rumble. Um, you know, if um, somebody's breaking into your house, burglarizing you. Um, you know, children are being harmed, like molested, shit like that. Um, you know, I, I, I don't call that snitch behavior, but I know some motherfuckers. I was in jail with that just d do not talk to the police, period, ever. Um, so that I know, I know people like that <laughs> who just do not deal with the police uh, under any circumstances. So. Uh, I respect that view, but you know, I'm not, uh, you know, I have, I have the, I have a little bit of a code of the streets, but I'm not really from the streets. Right. Uh, these are street, everything on the streets and you know, it doesn't matter if they got robbed. It doesn't matter if they got stabbed. It doesn't matter if they got shot. They're going to handle that shit on the streets. And so that's because they're real street niggas. I never claimed to be like full street nigga. Like I'm not, but, um, I know some people, uh, that I was in jail with. You don't talk to the police under any circumstances. And I had this discussion with the guy who helped me lose a hundred pounds. And, um, he was like, uh, yeah, I understand what you're saying. And I don't really consider that snitching, but I don't deal with the police under any circumstances whatsoever. And I'm like, well, what if, you know, you got stabbed in the mall or, or your, you know, your wife got robbed next to you or somebody like smacked her upside the head or something. He's like, nah, handle everything on the street. There are people who, who definitely up, up, uphold that code. <laughs> uh, and everything, everything's handled on the street and you don't call the police over anything. And uh, Mo is right. He says they don't believe they don't believe cops are there to help you. They aren't wrong. <laughs> they aren't wrong. No. But I do make an except an exception for you know like certain things, right? But um, but a lot a lot of r real street motherfuckers do not. <laughs> and it's like, nah, I'll see you on the streets, uh, and we'll handle it there. However, we handle it, uh, and so. Yeah, there's a lot of people who uphold that code. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.